All right. This is our second update on September 25th. Wanted to let you know that work was okay. We let our new naturalist go out a couple times on the boat by himself, and he's working out pretty well. You know, he's very educated. He is trying to learn so much, so he tells everybody the right stuff, which I appreciate. However, he's getting a little too far in depth, and he's got to remember that 18 facts about red mangroves isn't going to work. Take about five, take the most interesting five, and just store them in your memory bank, and you'll be fine. We spoke to the National Park Service today, and they told us that based on the way the storm is moving today, not tomorrow, that it's going to be an evacuation only if you want them. They're not expecting winds over 50 right now. Sorry, Mosquito. Uh, maybe 55. That's what they're saying now. Tomorrow may be different. Since I don't work tomorrow or Tuesday, this week, that gave me opportunity when I got home tonight to just kind of run a practice drill. And my practice drill was to take my, uh, my freshwater tank and fill it about a third of the way, okay, and then pump it all out. So if there was anything in there, it's gone. So if I need to fill it, it'll take about 10 minutes and we're fine. I also took my waste hoses, stowed one in the bumper. The other side of the bumper's got a little bend in it, so I can't get the other hose in. Fortunately, I got a hatch right about here below the uh, the slide so I can hide that and hide, you know, the, the adapters and the, the gloves and everything else. So we're good there. That's done. Uh, we hooked up my water line, so I'm on city water now. I can unhook that in a minute and a half. and put, I have a box I can put it in. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, Queso 8, I8, everything's good. You know, we're going to keep an eye on the weather patterns, and we're going to keep prepping. Like, tomorrow I may be here. If nothing's going on, I'll probably do some laundry. I'll probably start it before I talk to you guys. And then I will probably maybe attack the attic and do a little reorganization, make sure I got it. All of my important paperwork that I would need has to be either secured, or it has to be put in one place, probably in the bag that sits in my front seat, so that if anything happens, I can just throw it on the floor and I've got everything I need. Other than that, it looks like the, my friends in Tampa, and I do have some friends up there, they're really worried that they're going to get hit real hard. It looks like it's heading right at them. So that's on the western panhandle side. And if they get slammed, they're evacuating now, and they live in a 43-foot trailer. So they're trying to figure out how to make that work out as fast as possible. And they're doing a video on it. I'm going to watch them in a little bit. You know, I will probably... Put them in a mention probably tomorrow morning, okay? Other than that, we're fine. You know, it's 87 here. It's sunset. You know, it's beautiful. I just took the garbage out, and it is really, really pretty. There's a lot of clouds. They're all puffy. They're pink. They're yellow. The bay looks nice. You wouldn't even know it's going to rain tonight or tomorrow. Oh, and I put my travel box over here. So that travel box, it, when it pops open, I can put all my spices and stuff that I use every day, not the other spice cabinet, my everyday spices, into the Instant Pot, drop it in the box, everything else on my kitchen counters, other than, like I said, the Arrow Garden and my crock in the pot, done. I can be ready to leave here now because I have the waste hoses out. Um, as long as I can walk my bike over and secure it somewhere else because they're going to let me hang it here, I think I can be out of here in about 10 minutes. So I'm pretty excited by that that I have it all under control well enough. So if you were worried about me, please don't. And I will catch up to you all tomorrow morning and give you another update. And we'll go back to our regular format. Just letting you know they didn't, they kind of downgraded the storm. It looks like it's fallen apart. But at the same time, they're expecting it well to the west of me. So we're going to get a piece of it, a lot of rain, hopefully not a storm surge. But people in Tampa look like they're kind of dead center as of 5 o'clock tonight. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. See you later.